create diversions in your scenarios. So up ahead is an outpost and is currently guarded by three soldiers, two in the front and one that patrols. Now if we go to our map and go to TAS, the TAS state destroy the ammo supplies. Reconnaissance reports that the ammo supply box is on top of the outpost building at the enemy's base. Locate it and destroy it. So this is the enemy's base and this is the outpost building. You can see the icon to destroy the ammo cache on top. And you can see the icon there supposedly the supply box is right there. Now command has stated that we cannot kill any of the enemies at this outpost so we literally have to go in with stealth and the only way to get to the top of that building is through those front doors. What I'm going to show you guys today is a script and this is a diversion script you should be able to see some vehicles there's a vehicle there a vehicle there a vehicle right there and a vehicle just under the light there four vehicles so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a diversion and by damaging one of these vehicles I'm gonna damage this one what's gonna happen is a hint will pop up the enemy heard something and are moving to take a look so the vehicle that's damaged has a 200 meter hearing range where any enemy AI that's within that range will go to the location of the damaged vehicle and basically investigate. They'll do that for 60 seconds which is customizable. The enemy found nothing and are returning to the original positions. So once you get that and the time is up. Basically everybody just returns to where they came from. The ones that patrol will go back on their patrol. Now to get inside this building. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to damage that vehicle right there and make them all walk towards it. Divert their attention. Alright, now we got 60 seconds to get into that building. And we can't be spotted and we can't kill anybody. Alright, there's this guy right here. We gotta wait till he passes. into the roof. Just in time. The enemy found nothing and are returning to their original positions. Alright, there they go. So there's those two guys back to the front. And then here's this guy. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a charge next to the ammo boxes here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually throw an RGN grenade if you shoot and don't do nothing else, they will respond differently. Alright, 
Here we go. <laughs> and here they come. Get out of here. We can make it. Set this charge off. And they're returning back. We did it. We did it. Wow, look at that. It's crazy. Here we are in the editor of the mission that we just played. Let's turn on the flashlight. So the player is right here and I'm going to show you how this is set up. Basically it's very easy. All you have to do is name the soldiers that you want to be diverted. So as you can see here I have a soldier here. His variable name is S1. And then I have another soldier here. His name is S2. You could use whatever name you want as long as they're defined in the script. And then the third soldier here, which is doing the patrols, is S3. S for soldier. Now that's just the soldiers. You'll have to name the vehicles as well. So I have a vehicle here that is named V1. V for vehicle. So I'll give it a variable name. And then I have V2 here. And then we have V3 here. And then V4 here. Alright, let's go to the scenario folder and take a look at the script. So let's go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to open scenario folder. There is two scripts that are required. You have an init.sqf and the diversion.sqf script. Let's open up the diversion script. The script was written by me and Rightagear, and here is a brief description of what the script does. When any vehicle in the div vehicles array is damaged, enemy units in the div enemies array within the set hearing range will respond. They will move to the damaged vehicle's location, look around, and after a number of seconds have lapsed, they will return to their original positions. Vehicles and objects can be damaged more than once, but there is a timer that counts down. When that time is up, then it can be damaged again, and the time should be synced with the time the AI will investigate. All right, let's go to how to set up. Number one, all you have to do is place vehicles and units in your scenario and give them each variable names. Number two, in the init.sqf, place the vehicle and enemy variable names into the corresponding div vehicle and div enemy arrays. Let's take a look at that. All right, so in the init.sqf, you have div vehicles array and you have div enemies array. All you need to do here is just put the vehicle name. So I put V1 for vehicle 1, V2 for vehicle 2, V3, and V4. And then for the div enemies, which is the soldiers, I put S1, S2, and S3. So if you want to have more than four vehicles, then just put a comma and put you know, it doesn't have to be V5, it could be another name, but basically that's how you would do it. Just put a comma and then the next name. And same for this, this array here. And then, and then you need this here, and that's it. That's all you need to do to run the script. Number three on the setup is, in your mission, just shoot or grenade a vehicle to trigger 
the diversion. Now the thing with that is if you shoot too close to the enemy, they might not be diverted. It really depends. You have to kind of play with it. So they they respond to thrown grenades because you know they're basically silent until they explode at the point of where they land. So those work the best. I use RGNs more than I will RGOs because they have a smaller explosion and they're smaller and they they do less damage. Parameters. Now the, these are the parameters that you can adjust. Div hearing range equals 200. Now this 200 is 200 meters. What that means is the maximum distance from the vehicle that the AI can hear and will respond. So when a vehicle is damaged from that vehicle, it will go out 200 meters and any AI soldiers that are within that range of 200 meters will go to that vehicle. The next parameter div delay return is 60 seconds. This is the time in seconds before enemies will return to their original positions. Now you can adjust this. 45 seconds is pretty good. 30 seconds is pretty good. I wouldn't do it too less, but it's up to you. Div stop distance equals 10. Now this is 10 meters. This is proximity distance away from the vehicle that the AI will stop. When a vehicle is damaged, they will walk to it, as you've seen, and stop 10 meters from it. You can adjust this if you want. And when the 60 seconds is up, or whatever time you set, then they will return their original positions. Let's scroll down further, and here is two hints. This is a hint right here. This is what will pop up when a vehicle is damaged. If you don't want a hint to show up on the screen when the vehicle is damaged, then just put two forward slashes like that, and that'll disable that hint from popping up. There is a second hint, which is right here, and this is after the time is up for the 60 seconds or whatever time you set. And this is the hint where the enemy found nothing and are returning to their original positions. So if you don't want this hint showing up, just put two forward slashes like that and the hint won't, won't show up. And that's it. That's all you need to do. I'm going to zip these two scripts up into a zip file and link them in the description of the video to download. And when you download them, put the two scripts in your mission folder just like I did here. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy using this script and I will catch you guys on the next video.